Hey guys, Kathy Rankin here with your weekly soaps roundup. And you know, I got dressed for the show today and suddenly I felt like I was inspired by 1985 Michael Jackson in the thriller video. But you know what they say, all fashion does come back around. And speaking of all fashion, let's see what our beautiful characters are doing on the soaps. First, I can't even prepare you for this, guys. Brace yourselves on the bold and the beautiful. Liam saw Thomas kiss the mannequin but assumed it was Hope. And instead of being a normal per person and confronting them, he raced over to Steffi's instead to rage, drink tequila, and eventually have sex with his ex. Well, maybe that is what normal people do. Meanwhile, Hope checked on Thomas and was shocked to find him arguing with her plastic doppelganger. And in full meltdown mode, Thomas admitted he had always loved Hope, collapsed, and was then rushed to the hospital. Now, when Liam confronted Hope about having destroyed their marriage, he was sickened to realize that he'd actually seen Thomas making out with the mannequin as was the audience. Talk about a whoopsie moment. Coming up, former BFFs have another confrontation. Now, on Days of Our Lives, after finding Jake in bed with Kate, Gabby left town yet again. Xander and Sarah stage a fake breakup so that she could get closer to Philip and figure out what he's up to at Titan. And taking a page out of Mom Sammy's book, Allie got a gun and threatened to shoot Trip in the groin so he could never rape anyone again. But before she could pull the trigger, his mom burst in and grabbed the gun. Now, Trip was shocked to see his supposedly dead mom in the living room, as was Steve when he got home. Coming up, Joey finds out he's been behind bars for killing a woman who didn't actually die. Now, in General Hospital, Tracy Quartermain made her way back to town for the holidays. After Lulu fell into a coma, her family made the decision to send her to a medical facility in Manhattan, of all places. Rather than let Sonny or Cyrus do away with her brother, Ava decided to kill Julian herself. But before she could pull the trigger, Julian jumped off the parapet. And Laura was perplexed to learn that the patient Cyrus had been taking care of is her biological father's wife, Florence Gray. Coming up, Scott demands answers from a familiar face. Finally, on The Young and the Restless, despite Abby getting cold feet, she and Chance managed to tie the knot in what was the soap's 12,000th episode. Happy anniversary, y and and I'm pretty sure it's probably the 12,000th marriage, too. <laughs> Meanwhile, after Adam was released from the hospital, he reunited with Chelsea, and they planned to leave Genoa City with Connor, but before they could get out of Dodge, Adam found Chelsea passed out. Meanwhile, Billy and Lily finally gave into their passion and made love. Ew, I don't like this pairing. They didn't have much time to enjoy the afterglow though because Ray showed up to arrest Billy for Chance's shooting. Well, talk about going out with a bang. Coming up, the honeymoon may be over when Chance has to face a loyalty test. That's it for this week, you guys. Stay safe and we'll see you on the next Weekly Soaps Roundup.